thank you for joining us at uh, News of the South. We are in Liverpool where the Netball World Cup is uh, running. I have here with me two lovely ladies from the Kenya Netball Federation. On the left is Millicent Busolo, she's the Secretary General. And on the right is Immaculate Kabuta, she's the President. So we'll start off with Millicent. Why are you guys here? Kenya is not playing in the World Cup. Why is that? Yeah, Kenya is not playing in the World Cup. It's because uh, we just came into the office last year and we're trying to put our structures together. And they believe uh, by so doing, in one year's time, we shall be at where we are supposed to be. Okay, Mrs. Kabuda, you're the president. How do you feel by Kenya being left out? You're watching all the games, all the countries. How do you feel? Uh, we are not really feeling good, but uh, being our first time, we went for the qualifying last year in Zambia, and uh, it was the first time that the country was represented in anything about netball in this world. Oh, we played with six countries, and we are remaining two countries for ranking, so we have made a step. Um, and that's why we were actually invited for the Congress. We came for the Congress as delegates from our country, because our country, Kenya, is a member of INF. So after the Congress, we attended several workshops that were running uh, concurrently with the, uh, the matches. So after the workshops, we were attending the courses, and uh, we were attending the, the, uh, the games, the matches, and in fact that's why we are here. The workshop uh, ended on Thursday, and uh, we are waiting for the finals tomorrow. We have just been in the finals, in the semis, but we have learned so much. We have needed been sight. Once we go back to our country, we are going to be organize ourselves. The government is really ready to assist us. In fact, they are the ones who actually gave us air tickets to come to this. They sponsored us to come for this uh, conference. So once we go back, we have got a lot of knowledge, a lot of friends. We are going to continue doing better. We already have teams, but we are not strong enough because we have not been having proper technology. Uh, we, we, we don't have uh, equipment, proper equipment for training. In fact, we don't even have a, a network facility, proper network facility. We are also asking the government uh, to at least we have one indoor, indoor port for network. Because as we stand, we can only improvise the uh, gymnasiums that are here. So that uh, we, if we have a, a, either a, an East African match or an international match, we, we, which we are intending to host very soon, once we are settled, I am hoping that we are going to go far after this a very, very important uh, uh, duration that we have been here. Millicent, I believe Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta is going to watch this video. So from the courses that you've um, attended, the Congress, and the games that you've watched, what sort of things have you learned so that uh, Mr. Kenyatta can assist you guys to develop netball in Kenya? In fact, in fact we've really learned a lot from the development part of it, from the structure of our governance part of it. So we believe uh, working through with the Ministry of Fire Sports, I believe if they give us the support, the proper support, we are going to go through even about the, uh, the field, as the president has said. And then uh, also uh, in the schools, uh, the development of uh, young netballers. The moment we have good structures, we have good coaches, we invite good coaches to come and, and train our girls, our young girls, I believe we are going to reach places. In our clubs, if you get uh, good clubs, they get uh, good sponsorships. The problem is the sponsorships. The moment you get sponsorships, the girls are there, they can do what they... Kenya is known. It's an athletic country. We are good at uh, doing good things. And I believe uh, if you're given good support and the management that we have, we are going to deliver what we need. Okay, M Mrs. Kabuta, I believe you're the president. So I'd like to help you to um, appeal to the corporates to support you guys. What would you like to say to the corporates in Kenya? Uh, the corporates, to the corporates in Kenya, 
we are actually requesting them to come forward and uh, and actually assist us. We have uh, planned uh, several tournaments, uh, several uh, competitions, um, so that they can actually, once they come, I know we are in a position to do better and to do good because we have the potential. This is a woman's game, a women's game. This is for the for our girls, for the ladies. It is the only games lady game that we have. So we are actually pleading with them. Let them come forward. Let them help us. We have the, uh, several institutions who are actually ready. We also are pleading to our honourable members of parliament, the women, the ladies. Uh, we have actually written to them, and we are waiting. I know. They are going to come forward and actually help us. This is a, a, a ladies' game. Okay, so the World Cup is ending tomorrow, the 21st of July. When you go back to Kenya, how soon are you guys going to start preparing for the next World Cup to make sure that you are there in South Africa? In fact, for now, we have our structures in place. We are selecting our national team because we are having an African Nations Cup in uh, South Africa in October. So we are, we've really learned a lot and I believe uh, what we've learned here, we are going to take it back to, at home so that we can uh, improve our game at that level. And I believe by so doing, uh, in the next World Cup, people should take uh, should really look at uh, Kenya. We are there. It was our first time to be in Zambia, but we really pushed people to the, to the wire. But next time I believe we shall be in the World Cup. Okay, President of uh, the Kenya Netball Federation, have you tried to work with the Kenyan community here in the United Kingdom to support you guys? We have already connected now as we talk and they are out there, they are ready to assist us. They have given us our contacts, we have given them our contacts, they have given us our contacts and in fact they have promised to come to our country or even invite our, our pupils. They want to start with the young, the young girls in primary schools in secondary schools, in the universities, because that is the way they do it here in England. And they actually, the day we have already contacted them, we have talked with them, so we believe uh, immediately uh, they are going actually to call us, we are going to call them, we are going to light as they have advised, and then I believe that we are going to take netball to the next level. And we are seriously ready to develop netball in our country. You've had the opportunity to watch the strongest teams and the weakest teams. What have you learned from this World Cup? What you have learned from this World Cup, uh, we can really produce uh, the best in Africa. Africa is, uh, is a giant in netball because uh, at least uh, in the top eight we have four teams. And uh, I believe even Kenya will be among the top next time. And uh, the lowest teams are... Uh, I should just encourage them, let them work hard it's for the sake of the game. Let's promote netball in the whole world. Let us also encourage other speaking countries, other like French speaking countries, uh, Spanish speaking countries to join netball so that netball can be wide and can be played all over the world. That's my advice. Okay, Madam President, what's your message to the young girls out there as you? embark on this journey to start preparing for the next World Cup in 2023 in South Africa. Now the message is this is our game. This is a game for ladies. This is a game for girls. We want them to, to love netball. We want to encourage them. Uh, despite a few challenges here and there, we are going to tackle them. And then we have netball being played. Netball is being played professionally. We have seen people play. In fact, most of the teams, the, the top three, England, Australia, New Zealand, most of the players are professional, they are paid, so we are going to encourage our young girls. Yeah. We, are also preparing for, uh, the, we are also preparing for 2021, where we have the youth, youth netball world championships in Fuji, and we, we are planning. In fact, we will be there. We will take a team. God okay, um, this is impressive, ladies. I've been inspired by your messages today. I think I will be catching the flight back with you to Kenya. Thank Am you. Am I welcome? Thank Most you. welcome. Thank you. Kenya is um, a good country. Come and enjoy Kenya. 
yes. we are lovely people, we love visitors. And we are, Karibu. Yeah, we are <laughs> very happy to His Excellency Uhuru, our President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. He mentioned the other day in his speech that netball is one of the games that will be supported by the government. We continue looking forward for more and more from the government. Thank you so This much. is the best news I've heard for the day. Netball in Kenya will be supported and we will see Kenya at the next World Cup. Good luck, Thank ladies. Thank you.